Good morning. Friday morning. How is it Friday morning already this week? The weeks seem to pass by so quickly. But I don't know about you, but I'm feeling really sort of quite frustrated now. Frustrated with this lockdown, frustrated with everything that's going on. Um, I'm really sort of excited that we are coming to an end. I just can't wait to get back to normal. Um, I'm sure lots of you are thinking about feeling a little bit like that. And I just really, I thought this morning, I'm just gonna, was been thinking about that and thinking about how it's gonna be like to be back to normal. And uh, I'm just gonna share a story with you about another time when I was raring to go to be back to normal. But before I read the story and tell you the little sort of issues, I'm just gonna read some verses from Colossians chapter three. And I'm reading from verses one to four and then 12 to 14. Since then you have been raised with Christ. Set your hearts on things above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. For you died and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you will also appear with him in glory. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness and patience. Bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. And over all these virtues put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. So quite some time ago, really, um, actually just about the time that I was really excited to be moving to Doncaster and I was thinking about um, setting up my whole new life. I had a little bit of a setback and this setback came in the form of a second surgery to both of my feet, meaning that I was going to be held together by bits of plastic and elastic and screws for up to, you know, for quite some time and I was going to be in plaster for about 12 weeks. An earlier, cons more conservative um, surgery hadn't gone right and I was frustrated that I was going to have to go through it all again and you can imagine I was feeling pretty out of sorts um, but I went through with the surgery and um, had my plaster on and those plasters stayed on and I rested and I waited and I was patient waiting for my bones and my flesh to heal and that um, but I was so so yearning so so looking forward to be out of the plaster counting down the days that those plaster casts could come off and I would be able to get back to normal. Except of course it was far from it wasn't it? The first day of freedom when my casts finally came off my ankles were so stiff that I could barely move them and the weakness in my muscles meant that I could barely even take a step, couldn't flatten my foot to the floor. And I stared at my feet in in disbelief. I'd managed for all those weeks, um, sort of, you know, getting around a little bit just in my casts and with some crutches. But all of a sudden, the pain was awful and I was worried about the time for the rehabilitation. But I did have rehabilitation and it was painful. And I really, really had to just slow down and take one step at a time. And my physiotherapist would often say to me, one step at a time, Christine, just little steps, baby steps, take one step at a time. And it made me think about when we're coming out of lockdown, we may envisage ourselves running and returning to do things exactly normally as we did them before. We might be absolutely raring to go, as I said earlier, or might it just be a little bit different? We'll prob probably find that we're in fact maybe a little bit nervous about doing the things that we used to do unthinkingly. We may be made more nervous than we used to be in crowds or if we hear somebody coughing right next to us in the supermarket queue. We may find things that we haven't done for a while like trying on clothes in the shops or even singing in church feel really, really odd and not at all comfortable. 
or it may be that we do feel that we're ready to go straight back to doing everything but maybe our friends and our neighbours and our families do not and I've, had, I've already heard a few people, a few people that I've that has been saying that they've been shielding for so long that they've got real anxiety about returning to normality and wondering about whether they really will be safe there's been so much on the news about be keeping safe keep safe keep safe how can it have all just gone away for us to be able to come out of our houses and homes and that safety straight away like taking off those casts how are we going to take off the plaster cast and just get back to normal quickly there may be a little bit of time that we're going to need to all be able to feel better we've probably become a little bit institutionalized and that we're all going to need time to heal and to regain our strength so we need to be gentle with ourselves not rush it and try not to rush anyone else I wonder if we take time to listen to our own feelings and the feelings of one another. Many people are coming out of this lockdown bereaved, impoverished and depressed. And it's not going to be all magically over in June for lots of people. And as we remember the letter in Colossians say, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, clothe yourself with hearts of compassion kindness humility gentleness and patience it may take a while but we will get there one baby step after another so let us be kind to each other in our journey thanks for listening bye bye